Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Sean Two Cents. Well, we're halfway through WrestleCon slash WrestleMania weekend here. Four shows in the books, and I'll go over my high points and low points in these four shows. First, we start Vault 19, crowning the first ever Vault Champion. The the low points were bad streaming, weird finishes like we had a DQ finish in the John Davis AR Fox match. It's just a weird finish there. And then the Sammy County injury thing was weird. The timing was all off in the show. The boss is Air Fox, new ball champion. Air Fox is killing it. He's the ball champion. He was one half of the United Champions, which they lost to the Young Bucks. I'll get to that later. And he is seems to be a wired champion. That fucker don't care what happens to me. He's just awesome. Air Fox is probably the number one guy in Indian wrestling right now. By far, this weekend sealed it, done it. His performance is all weekend. Air Fox killed it all. If all the team was about him. And this match will play a lot better on DVD. So if you have, didn't get it live, I, I, I really, really recommend the, the uh, on man version of, of all the team. I think it would, would play a lot better on that. No stream issues. But good good show overall. I think a 7 out of 10. I can recommend it. Not going to really go over all the results. I'm going to really take up all your time. Just want to give you the quick bullet points of all these shows. Then we had Supercard of Honor. What a great show. Great crowd. Great matches, great feeling, great atmosphere. I loved it. Ring of Honor has been, if you know me, if you listen, if you, uh, you follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, you know what Ring of, I love Ring of Honor this year. Great booking, great house shows, great live, event, great live events, great TV, great fair views. Love show was awesome. So they went from top to bottom with the great card. But Lethal and Elgin stole the show. Elgin's better every fucking match. He puts on a four star match with anybody. He put on a four star match with Matt Fitch at Path for Redemption, AEW. It's just freaking amazing. Oh, you put anything together. I know you, people say, oh, Lethal doesn't have what it takes to be, like, the main guy. I think he does. He just needs a manager. That's all he needs. And he's not good in the mic. He's lacking something. But I, he's good. So, he'll get number, number one contendership. We'll see how that goes. Then Anderson versus Lethal. So, if people didn't know who Anderson was, Anderson versus Sean, sorry. People didn't, who didn't know who Anderson was, know who he is now. Carl Anderson, what a great talent. He faced Tan Tanahashi. Over New Japan for Wrestling, he is an awesome star. Ever since Matt Bloom, aka Tensai, tons of funk left New Japan, he's really proved himself. Carl Anderson, this beat rush rock, what crazy ass age crusher, it was amazing. Then we have the American American Wolves versus Red Dragon. Epic match, epic match. Kind of a weird finish with a roll up, and that's what Peter Connor saying was the bad thing about that was making all the roll up finishes. Sorry for my mistakes, this is a long weekend, I was a little tired. I just wanted to do a quick video, tell you about the good stuff, so if I mess up, forgive me. This is my, my fourth take, and I'm not doing it again. So then, we have the main event, Kevin Steen versus Jay Briscoe. My God, what a match. But then, it was marred by the pay-per-view dropping, the, pay, uh, the stream dropping at, at the end. And then when you turn back on, the new world champion is Jay Briscoe. Oh, oh. I was speechless. Jay Briscoe has done it, them boys, man up. Man up, man up. Been there since day one, boy. Them boys, yeah. Yeah, what a moment. This family got in the ring. He won it with the J Driller. He deserved it since day one. Man, they deserve the title on him. I don't see him losing until he faces Elgin, I think. And then Steen, being a great man, he sh sh shook his hand and said, and Steen tweeted that, Steen, Steen tweeted that he's glad he dropped title to Jay Briscoe and off the next shot of his career. I wonder what that means. So it's full on this. We'll see how, how, where Steen goes under this. In other things in Ring of Honor, we had a good match between uh, QG Marshall and Artie Evans versus ACH and Dick Terrestrials. ACH and Terrestrials are a great tag team. So Ring of Honor, don't make them like Future Shock. Don't make them like the Young Bucks. Really push them. Because ACH for Terrestrials versus Red Dragon, that should be the main event. That should be one of the matches that best in the world. I mean, Border Wars. Not best in the world. Border Wars is the next show. That should be for tag teams. They should be the number of tenors. AJ's for Terrence Thomas, they're over with the crowd, everything. That's really pushed that tactic. Terrence Thomas is really good. AJ's is fantastic, so that's great. They might better return that Ring of Honor. So it might be a big shot veteran. Bennett won. Huh? We'll see where they go. Both of them will leave Ring of Honor. Even the, the 10 Man War. Crazy match. How much to it? Matt Tatum retained his TV title. And a low blow Adam Cole getting a little revenge on Matt Hardy. So a good show overall, man. Not nine out. I give it eight. Not eight out of ten, man. Eight out of ten. A solid condition. I say buy it right now, on the man. And then I made a late last minute decision. Left for last night. I decided forty with five dollars. Shimmer fifty three. My God, I'm glad. 
First woman show that I watched, first woman all women's wrestling show I ordered, and man was I impressed. Order this show. I say orders. We had Athena. I think I said Athena. Athena, yeah. Versus uh, Athena. Athena versus Hamada. Great match. The cage to Trimus and Sir Knight. Jessica McKay versus Madison Eagles. What a match. There's six man tags. There's every kind of match you wanted. All kinds of action. It was just amazing. My God. Then you had Congress and me. Yim opened it up. There's so many matches. I don't remember everything because I'm not really familiar with all of them. But great action. Full through and through. I just give it an 8.5 out of 10. It was almost as good as Supercar of Honor. Then tonight we, then tonight we had Dragon Gate USA opened off the gate. Oh my god, what a show. For, first show started with a little stream problems, then they got fixed, so that was good. So we had a good match between Rick Swan and Brian Kendrick. And then we had the six-way freestyle with Shane Strickland, Fire Ants, Jigsaw, Tony Nese, Chuck Taylor, and Eric Cannon. What a great match. Fantastic spots everywhere. I fucking loved it. I was marking out everywhere. I feel like a teenager watching TV again. Like back when I was like two hours watching Hardy Boys. I felt like a wrestling fan again. Really captured the spirit of wrestling this weekend. And really made me go, oh yeah, yes, yeah. Let me jump out and see. This show really captured my, my fandom right now. We also had Calvary's Godation was a good match. The match of the night I thought was Ricochet versus Sozawa. My God, what a fucking match. Oh my Lord, what a... Oh, this is so crazy. We got Johnny's and Jeff Beretta. Okay, match. I think a three-star match. Jeff Beretta getting better. At the more I see him. I think the more time he spends in these, more, more he wrestles these big-name guys, I think he will get a lot better. And Johnny is the heel turning working. And finally, Kale Connie broke, broke up the, the scene. He is down on his own. They're either going to push Scott Reed or push Kale Connie. I say push Kale Connie. Sorry, I'm sweating. Because this shirt is a little tight here. Then we had the Young Bucks versus Shima Air Fox for an opening night. Get Ted Dallas. Oh my god. Four out of five match. Four star match. Oh my fucking lord. What a match. What a match. Loved it. Probably the best Young Bucks match I've seen in a while. Even PWG, man, it was good. PWG quality, I think it was. This show, show is almost on part of PWG. It's almost part of seeing Dragon Live in January. It was, this was damn good. Gabe, you were fucking awesome. And your new Open Dragon Champions. Silver kick, silver kick, silver kick, the Young Bucks. Then in the main event, you got Shingo versus Johnny Gargano. My God, what a match. Hard hitting. Bro, I wasn't feeling that at first. I was tweeting a little bit. Then the match got more, as the match got further in, it just got better and better and better. And by the time I know I was on the floor watching it, it's like, oh, on the edge of my seat. And Shingo had all his big moves and Gargano kept kicking out, kicking out, kicking out. A little Super Gargano, as people said on Twitter. Kind of John Cena esque, but in Indies it works, I guess. I could forgive it more in Indies than I can forgive it. And then Shingo, then uh, Gargano gets frustrated and Murphy gets bumped, and Gargano low blows Shingo and pulls out a shirt of his tights and chokes, Gargano, chokes Shingo out. The crowd boos heavily. What a shocking fucking heel turn. Gargano turns heel. Then there's his fans thinking of coming out and everything, and, and he made uh, Shingo tap out. What the fuck? Man, that was crazy. Oh, I forgot. Eats it, and the uh, Super Sick Rubbin, Tarot TT face Super Sessions in an epic match. My god, what a match. This whole show was so amazing from top to bottom. It was just, you can't find a bad match on this card. 9 out of 10, solidly. Best best show of the year. This and also Rick Night 1, Night 2, and King of Flight. Those are, show, are the four shows of the year, man. This show was epic. I don't think, I, that's why I don't even think I can watch WrestleMania. I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can go back to your TNA after that show. That show was by far one of the best shows I've seen on I Pure View. It was just fucking amazing. If you watched it live, you know what I mean. It would just have the feel. The crowd was feeling it. The crowd was on the Devon team on each match, but they got into the main event. They got into the SMB match. They got into the Young Bucks match. It just was from top to WrestleCon is a is a success. The the large crowds for Shakara, the large crowds for Shimmer, the large crowds for CCW. WrestleCon success, and I think it will go on for a few, for many more years to come. Just come on, have WrestleCon next year. The wrestling we get for Indies is, is, is great. Indie wrestling is where it's at right now. AR Fox, Sammy Callahan, Michael Elgin, all these great wrestlers right here, right now. The future is now indie wrestling. And all these guys are coming up, getting fast. Rich Swan. It just amazes every time I'm watching wrestling. Turn on Shimmer, turn on AIW, 
Turn on AEW. I can't watch Raw or SmackDown anymore. I don't mind Raw or SmackDown. It's the matches are shorter. They're they're limited on what they can do. I like no limits. Like I don't know what I can see, but then I know what I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I don't go on I go on anti duty ramp, but those four shows must see. I'm glad I spent my money on these shows, man. It just fucking this man. If you weren't watching these shows, you're not really a big wrestling fan. You're not you're not a wrestling fan. If you have watching sports shows, those are fucking awesome. You're sitting at home saying, "Oh, I can't wait for WrestleMania 29," and you're not doing anything. You're just watching fucking Seinfeld or Zoe 101 or whatever you're fucking watching. Get your head out of your ass and check out some new wrestling. That's all I gotta say, man. I know this wasn't the best for you, but it was good, good. And also, let's say thank you, thank you to Mike, and for uh, sit to share my video and saying good things about it. And thank you to Shaky Bear for a great interview Thursday. Check out Shaky Bear; he's one of the best young stars out there. You, you can just check out the interview. Thank you for my friend Richard Martinez, doing great. He hung out with me both nights for both shows. It was awesome weekend with him. Another great weekend of wrestling, and I am a wrestling fan. And this, the Charlottes will continue no matter what. You know, I'm just happy to be wrestling in my life. Maybe it's so much better. I'm so happy now. We're happy and tired and hot and sweaty. So I'm going to go in my chair and just nap and check Twitter. You can check all my interviews. Check my interview playlist. 26 interviews with 26 different wrestlers, two promoters, shoot interviews, all kinds of stuff. And then there's a video of my dog playing with a bone. And you get in with me spitting in a chair. Basically, Sean's happy. So, you be happy. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy, 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 man. So damn happy. Make sure to like this video. Share it. Peace, people.